Wild Rose MLA Derek Fildebrandt was in his riding of Strathmore Brooks to make an announcement on conservative unity last night. Now many people thought that this was going to be his leadership candidacy announcement for if and maybe when a united conservative party forms once the Wild Rose and progressive conservatives decide on whether to create a new party. That vote will take place on July 22nd, but instead, Phil DeBrandt announced an organization called United Liberty that he explains here. It is to be an organization that fundraises and has volunteers and campaigners to help steer our party, I believe, in the right direction of liberty conservatism, to help nominate good people in this party, to keep it reinvigorated, to keep it true to its principles, to uh, organize when we come to policy conventions, to, to ensure that when we come to policy conventions, we're not simply voting on what party elites want people, uh, the policies of the party to be, but what the grassroots want it to be. So United Alberta is an, organiz uh, is an organization. It's not a political party or a party within a party, but it is a group of Albertans, uh, Wild Rosers and progressive conservatives and people who are right now not aligned with anyone, including the Federal Libertarian Party, who have gotten involved to help promote our values and take action uh, to promote our values within uh, a new United Party so that it is not purely dominated from the top. This organization will promote yes votes from both the Progressive Conservative and Wild Rose Party memberships. The PCs need to reach 50% while the Wild Rose need to reach 75% in order for the unification of Conservatives to occur officially. Fildebrandt mentioned that this vote could easily be influenced by skeptical Conservatives that want to vote no to unity and also two second Tories that are seeking to derail conservative unity in an attempt to pave the way for the NDP to get another mandate in 2019. I mentioned previously that the Alberta Teachers Association, who brought us Allison Redford with their tens of thousands of members, have mobilized to buy Wild Rose membership, so this is a very real threat. And this new organization, United Liberty, will be working to counter that threat. They'll also uphold the principles of freedom and liberty, along with promoting candidates and policy that reflect those values. And speaking of candidates, Fildebrand isn't ruling running for the leadership of a new United Conservative Party out. And at the same time, uh, it will assist me in building an organization uh, from now until the unification vote uh, to help get a yes to unity, but also to ensure uh, that we are, in addition to presenting our values over the next few weeks, uh, that I'm in a position where I will have uh, the freedom of action to decide if I will run for the leadership of a United Conservative Party or if we will see the values strongly reflected in another candidate enough to support them. But the point is, it's a, it's a very short leadership race. Uh, it's, uh, I think, unnecessarily short, but it is short and that's what we have to live with. So if we want to be able to run, we're going to have to be in a position where we've got an organization in advance. The announcement and formation of United Liberty comes off the back of Maxime Bernier's loss of the CPC leadership, who was the most freedom-oriented candidate in the running that gained a ton of support from Albertans. This new organization aims to serve those liberty-minded citizens in order to cultivate a grassroots liberty and freedom movement that's meant to keep political parties and politicians in check to make sure that they're not moving to the left, which seems to be a theme with conservative political parties today. For more information on United Liberty, you can visit DerekFildebrandt.ca. For The Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss the other side of the story in Canadian news that you're just not going to find anywhere else.